Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, tonight, <laughs> it's very, very late in the evening. I like to uh, do my canning at night uh, just because, uh, you know, peak electricity costs and uh, keeps the house a little cooler. Uh, I can just kind of open up the windows, turn on the exhaust fan on the stove, and uh, keep the house a little cooler that way. But uh, I'm going to take you through the process of canning some green beans. So, I went out and picked all of those green beans. You can see how big this freaking pot is. It's full of cold water. Uh, it's good to, uh, I've, I've already done kind of the boring parts. I snapped all the beans, I cleaned them, washed them, uh, you know, rinsed them a couple times, and now I have all my jars clean. I put them in quart jars. And uh, I'm going to stick those in the sink in uh, hot water and then I'll kind of show you the process of packing them, uh, putting the lids on, and then put them in the pressure canner and uh, start canning some beans. So uh, I've already done, uh, what is it, uh, I think I've done a dozen jars so far already this year and I'm going to do a six, another six of them here uh, on camera with you, but I, I think I have at least another dozen quarts of green beans here to uh, can tonight. So uh, I'll take you through uh, the first batch of it. The pressure canner only holds uh, seven jars, but I think by what I measured with weight, uh, I think I'm going to have 12 jars. Might end up with 13, but like I said, that'll hold seven. So uh, if it ends up I have seven jars the second time, then so be it. But uh, going to go through, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my jars in hot water, uh, kind of explain the reason behind that. Uh, you definitely, I, I like to uh, put hot water on my green beans uh, right before I go in the pressure canner. I also like to have my jars hot before I do that and uh, I, I keep the temperature of the water in the pressure canner um, just kind of, just at a, a steam. Uh, you know kind of low heat for now just because uh, you don't want these jars to crack so uh, that's the purpose behind heating the jars in hot water and then when you pack the green beans in you're going to be putting hot water in the jars with them uh, with a little canning salt and then they go in the pressure canner so uh, I'll get uh, get set up for doing all that and I'll be right back all right so a couple little tips that I want to show you before I get started uh, Definitely check your lids. Uh, we got a batch of these, a couple of boxes of them last year, and they didn't do that. They didn't seal. So we had, uh, uh, I think we had three jars of, uh, I think it was spaghetti sauce that went bad. So uh, definitely keep an eye on that. You got to be careful with some of the stuff. You get botulism and get really sick from that. Uh, another thing that I like to do now. Not everybody does this, but I use canning salt. A tablespoon of canning salt, and I just put it in a container so that I can scoop it up really quick. It's ready to go. I don't have to uh, you know, try and dig it out of the bag for each jar. So that's just a couple little tips. Um, you're definitely going to want you know, the proper tools for doing this. You're going to want a funnel. That is for knocking the air bubbles out. That is a little magnet for picking up your lids. And then that is a jar grabber for, <laughs> for messing with hot jars. So uh, have all that stuff ready to go. And then looks like the water for the lids is ready. What you want to do when you throw your lids in, start off with it like that so it's not getting direct heat from the bottom of the pan. And then however many you have, do the opposite. So you got this one here, that like that, and just kind of set them around so they're not directly sitting on top of each other in the hot water. And I'm going to put that in that pan right there. So Let's see, four, five, and six lids. So I think we're just about ready to get started. So uh, got my jars here that have been sitting in hot water with hot water inside of them. Go ahead and pour that out. I just use my hands to get out the beans. So uh, stick your funnel in there and pack it full of beans, just as tight full of green beans as you can get in there. 
dropping some on the counter. That ain't going to hurt nothing. Kind of shake them down in. And then they're going to be sticking up out of the top a little bit. You actually got to squeeze them down in there. And then you can usually get a few more. So I do one jar at a time and I pack them right to the bottom of the, you know, right to the bottom of there. I'll pack them just as tight as I can get them into there. And then out of here, well, here now I'm doing a video and I'm going to screw it up. I almost forgot. There's the tablespoon of canning salt and then you take your ladle with your funnel. I don't have near this much trouble when I'm not doing it in a video. And I'll set that real close. Just about like that. Right to that bottom of that rim. And then I'll set them aside because, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you see all them air bubbles? You need to let those air bubbles come out of it. Now you can stick this tool down in, in the next to it, but uh, it's kind of hard with green beans. You can get it down in there, but it doesn't do a whole lot. But uh, now just let it sit there with that hot water let them air bubbles come up. I'll do the rest of the jars and then I'll be back. Alright, so I thought I'd show you guys the last jar and uh, try and get a little closer look at how I do this. You know, I'm just grabbing them, dropping them in, and once you have so many in there, you kind of got to give it a, a twist like that to get them to lay down because no matter how much you think you got packed in here, they will cook down in the pressure cooker and you'll have about that much uh, water down at the bottom or juice, whatever you want to call it, uh, that's you know the beans are all floating to the top so uh, you can never get these packed too tight Okay, so shake those around a little bit. That's just as full as I can get it. Now one other tip that I forgot to show earlier is I usually keep the funnel on when I put the salt on. The reason being is because you do not want anything on this lip when you go to put the seal on it. We're going to be cleaning those off here in just a minute. Now that jar is hot, but you can see all them water bubbles coming up through there. That's what I was talking about. It's They're, they're going to shrink down, I guarantee it. So I'm going to let those sit and get the air bubbles out of them. Uh, all of my lids here, they're nice and hot, ready to go. Uh, let's see, this burner can be shut off now. Put that over there, just get it out of the way. I'm going to turn the heat up on the pressure cooker just a little bit, and uh, yeah, when I get all the air bubbles out, I'll be right back. Alright, so it is time to put the lids on. So, basically all you do, you know, wipe off that top rim really good. Get your little magnet out here. Grab one of your lids. Set her on there. And, I left my rings over here. Go ahead and tighten that down. That's all there is to it. Then we'll throw them in the pressure canner here in a second. All right, so this pressure canner here, I'm going to get this out of the way so I don't bump it when I'm looking at the camera and boil my feet off. <laughs> but uh, this pressure canner has been around for a long time. This was my wife's mother's 
it might have been her mother's. So, uh, I'll show you this real quick in the bottom of there. You need about two, three inches of water, you know, depending on whether you're doing pints or quarts. And you just set them on in there. The jars will be hot if you are, uh, you know, I've, I've been welding most of my life, so my hands handle the heat pretty well. But uh, you might have to use a pair of gloves or uh, you might have to use these to set the jars in there. Doesn't bother my skin any. So, that, see that's got that rubber ring on there. Got to make sure that doesn't fall out. Lock her down and turn up the heat. Now once the steam starts coming out of there, I'll be throwing this weight on there. And let me see if I can get them numbers up there. Depending on your elevation, you may have to use the 10 or the 15. Uh, here in Iowa, we are at, uh, well, the town that I live in, we're at 1,300 and some feet above uh, sea level. So uh, we're supposed to use the uh, 15 pound, which is that one there on the bottom. And then we got to cook them for uh, 25 minutes. So uh, that's going to be a good process. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to I'm going to turn the camera back on uh, once this starts steaming and uh, show you what happens when this thing starts going. So uh, the first time I ever did it, it scared the hell out of me. I thought it was a bomb going off. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyhow, I'll be back with that. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera or not, but uh, once that little spout starts shooting out a steady stream of steam, then it's about time to put the uh, weight on there. I usually let it uh, shoot steam out of there for a good five minutes or so, just to make sure that the uh, pressure canner is sealed up really good. But... Uh, Looks like it's going pretty good. I'm going to turn on the uh, exhaust fan and put the weight on. And then once it gets ready to start rattling, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright, so once it starts doing that, you can turn your heat down just a little bit. Not much. And then set the timer for 25 minutes. So once that goes off, I'll be back. Alright, so the timer went off, and uh, we're going to pull that off of there, but one thing I'm going to tell you, don't pull it off with your hands, it's hot. And that's going to shoot a bunch of steam up when you turn the exhaust fan on, so it's going to be kind of noisy. But you want to let that completely depressurize before you try to take the lid off. So it's going to sit there for probably a good five minutes or so, and uh, get all that pressure out of there. So, I will be back when it's done and show you the end result. Alright, so we're all done. And uh, let me pull one of these out of here for you. Get this out of here. I'll kind of show you what's going on with them. They are very, very, very hot. But that is your end result. And when these actually are ready, I'm going to set this off to the side. That is extremely hot. But once once they are completely done, once they start cooling off, uh, all the air bubbles are rushing up to the top, and uh, you're going to hear these the seals, uh, the lids pop on them. And that is the indention when I showed you earlier. Grab one of these. That is that pulling down. But it'll make a pretty good... Uh, pretty good popping sound on you and uh, sometimes I'll pop more than once but uh, that's what you end up with and uh, that's the whole process uh, pretty simple deal uh, you know a lot of people are intimidated by it but uh, you know really this is uh, my wife had been doing this for uh, several years before this but uh, so this is my first year and only my third time canning so uh, it's it's not a very hard process if I can learn how to do it you guys can so uh, uh, the reason I decided to do this video Madison, Madison C Iowa she asked me uh, uh, or had mentioned it and uh, wanted to see me do a video on it so that is my first canning video doing green beans might do uh, 
you know, something else, uh, maybe when we get some tomatoes ready, making some salsa or something like that. If you guys want to see a video of that, I'll do that too. But uh, uh, another video you'll be seeing me uh, do here in the kitchen is uh, I have... I've been making my own soap for quite a few years, so uh, I might just do a video on that. I have some soap that I, I call them bug out bars because I put uh, essential oils in them that uh, uh, repel insects and uh, also give you a, a kind of an en energizing, uh, uh, you know, they have energizing properties to the essential oils. So. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, and uh, I'll show you guys how to make some soap, too. So, uh, that's it for today, guys. I thank you very much for watching. I'm pretty sure it was a long video after I get done editing and everything, but uh, well worth watching if you're interested in doing something like this. Uh, once you actually get all your jars and the pressure canner and everything like that, it is so much cheaper to put away some food. Uh, doing it this way than it is buying it so uh, the initial cost is kind of expensive but uh, in the long run it'll save you a lot of money so that's it guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time